Cats rule and dogs drool. Stock up on salmon, dust down your scratch posts, and prepare yourselves for some feline finery. Nice going, Max. You can talk. Yeah, no kidding. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movie cats. Garfield! Did you eat all four boxes of lasagna? <laughs> it's not my fault. For this list, we've looked at all cats to grace the silver screen, animated, live action, and everywhere in between. You may have won today, Bolt, but in the end, we will get your little penny. Number 10, Snowbell, Stuart Little. Nice kitty, nice kitty, pretty kitty. Are you cozy? Up first, we have a bad kitty gone good. Um, no. Snowbell is as harmless as his name suggests. Once you get past his tough, though fluffy exterior. Oi, I think I'm gonna cough up a furball. When a walking, talking mouse arrives in the little household, Snowbell reacts as any self-respecting cat would. He tries to eat him. I'm a cat, you're a mouse. You should be living in a hole. This is my family. This cat's about as carnivorous as a cauliflower, though, and in time, the eponymous Stuart and his Persian playmate put aside their differences. Thanks for the ride. Don't mention it. Ever. Number nine, Lucifer, Cinderella. Here's kitty, 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 kitty. The clue is in the name for this one. Lucifer, come here. In classical tradition, Lucifer is the fallen angel who eventually becomes Satan. Lucifer has his good points, too. In Disney Cinderella, Lucifer is the malevolent Moggy who's only marginally less wicked than his owner, the wicked stepmother. There's the large carpet in the main hall. Clean it. While Snowbell threatened to eat a mouse but couldn't follow through, Lucifer is forever thinking of feasting on all manner of mice and animals. <laughs> there isn't too much that could be considered good about this cat, but he is very good at being bad. You mean old thing? Number eight, Mr. Jinx, meet the parents. Hi, Jinx. Wait to Greg. Hello, Jinx. Fluffy cats are meant to be the most adorable, right? Wrong. Mr. Jinx is Ben Stiller's catastrophe in Meet the Parents. Jinx, come here. Jinx. Mew, mew, mew. No, no. Jinx. Shit. The beloved pet of an intimidating in-law, this cat lives up to his name. Jake's is strictly a house cat. You can't let him outside because he also lacks outdoor survival skills. Anything and everything goes wrong for Gaylord Fokker in this movie, and the cat is almost always at the center of the problems. Jack, I told you, it wasn't me. It was Jake's. Whether it's substituting human ashes for kitty litter, Jinx, you know. or destroying the house, oh my God. Fokker's hexed, he's cursed, he's jinxed. Jinxie, no! Oh my God. <laughs> Number seven, Binks, Hocus Pocus. Poor Thackeray Binks. Neither his father, his mother, nor anyone else ever knew what became of him. As a human, he's known as Thackeray, but in cat form, the surname will suffice. You're Thackeray Binks? Yes. <laughs> so the legends are true. Well, come along. Binks is the first entirely black cat to make our list. <sighs> I hate it when that happens. This little guy's as determined as he is domesticated. He's as warm-hearted as he is whiskered. I told you I can't die. Danny, you all right? Yeah. Okay, then let's go. The victim of some magical malevolency. He is a man trapped inside a cat's body, but he's well worth leaving a saucer of milk out for. Because of me, my little sister's life was stolen. For years, I waited for my life to end so I could be reunited with my family. Black cats might be unlucky for some, but we're fortunate to have this one on film. No. Number six, Mr. Bigglesworth, the Austin Powers franchise. Come, Mr. Bigglesworth. What do you get if you take Ernst Blofeld's overstroked Persian pussycat and give it a Mike Myers makeover? Well, you get this. It's freaking freezing in here, Mr. Bigglesworth. Mr. Bigglesworth, along with Dr. Evil, was cryogenically frozen. In the process, he lost all of his hair. Look what you did to Mr. Bigglesworth! <laughs> An unfortunate accident. He's now as bald as brass and quite hilariously hairless. 
Come, Mr. Bigglesworth. Never far from Evil's lap, it isn't wise to make his owner angry. Because if Dr. Evil's angry, then Mr. Bigglesworth gets upset. And when Mr. Bigglesworth gets upset, people die! <laughs> Number 5. Milo, The Adventures of Milo and Otis. Hey! Oh, hey, your singing stinks. Will you quit it? Milo's a moggy with luck on his side. As this movie's tagline reads, he's got nine lives and a best friend. A dream about Otis and how they used to play together when they were young. Oh, would it ever be like this again? The orange tabby is as curious as they come, but his inquisitive nature leads to his questionable safety. Fortunately, Otis the pug is never too far behind, valiantly trying to save his friend. All right, hold on! Otis growled, making sure to keep his teeth tightly clenched. A story where the stage is shared, Milo plays his part to perfection. You're a strange looking cat, Milo said. Oh, I'm not a cat, I'm a dog, Otis replied. Milo tried to figure this out and said, all, all right, a dog, I understand, but um, really, deep down inside, we're all cats, right? A cat you could try and keep as a pet? Expect adventure on a daily basis. You have no idea what I've been through. Bears, snakes, even seagulls. Number four, Sassy, Homeward Bound, The Incredible Journey. Thank you, precious. An incredible cat for an incredible journey. Sassy's everything her name would have you believe she is. I never understand a thing when they do this. Me neither, but you might as well humor them. She's smart talking, a little sarcastic, and very brave. Try, Shadow. Please try. It's one thing to find yourself a long way from home, but as a cat, it's another to be lost with just two dogs for company. Ooh, canines. This movie's a battle of the species, and Sassy isn't gonna lose. I just got those two back. Hmm. And I will not lose them now. Oop. She's also not gonna fail to find her owner. Yeah, kitty, kitty, kitty. No, dummy, 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 dummy. Dumb cat. Oof, what a bozo. If ever a cat can be an inspiration, it's now. After this, I intend to live indoors on a velvet cushion filled with bird feathers and be served filet of mouse on a silver platter. All right, sassy. Number three, Mr. Tinkles, Cats and Dogs. Evil does not wear a bonnet. It's not exactly a name that strikes fear into the heart of man, or even dog. But Mr. Tinkles is the power-hungry puss who's bidding to, once and for all, kill off all things canine. Stand still. I need to crush you. If Sassy had an occasional dislike for dogs, Tinkles has an overriding, unending hatred for them. Just beating Kitty Galore to be the very best of the very bad on this countdown. My name is Kitty Galore. Tinkles is furiously fluffy, or perhaps fluffily furious. I want, I want you to stay here. Why? Because I hate you. No! No! Either way, he'll have to pipe down and settle for third place. That is all. <laughs> cat rule. Number two, the Cheshire Cat, Alice in Wonderland. All this talk of blood and slaying has put me off my tea. Arguably the most famous cat in all of fiction full stop, Lewis Carroll's Cheshire Cat was brought effectively to the big screen by Tim Burton in 2010. I really do love that hat. Voiced by Stephen Fry, this is an animal of considerable complexity. Hello, Chess. Since you won't be needing it anymore, would you consider bequeathing it to me? Conversationally, he's a little hard to engage with. Philosophically, he's almost impossible to understand. Logically, he shouldn't exist. Down with the bloody big head, bloody big head being the Red Queen. All those things aside, there's a silver medal hung around his neck, and deservedly so. What happened that day was not my fault. Though we can also give a nod to the mischievous singing feline from Disney's animated Alice in Wonderland from 1951. There's no question that Cheshire is a movie cat to remember. It was brilliant. And the slithy toves that did the gyre and the gimbal in the way. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Pinocchio. 
Do you like it, Figaro? We were just practicing biting and clawing. Aristocrats do not practice biting and clawing and things like that. It's just horrible. <laughs> Number one, Puss in Boots, the Shrek franchise. Now ye auger, pray for mercy from Puss in Boots. There are plenty of fairy tale things scattered across the Shrek franchise, but few have found as much fame as this feline. Inspired by the iconic outlaw Zorro, in one of my nine lives I was the great cat burglar of Santiago de Compostela. Puss has an Antonio Bandera Spanish accent and an untimely inclination for furballs. <coughs> he can switch from a butter wouldn't melt baby face to a wouldn't stand a chance swordsman. And he does it all with serious style. The literal and figurative cat's whiskers, he gets our cream. He's a feline extraordinaire. Shrek? For you, baby, I could be. Do you agree with our list? Which cat did we miss? Balt, you're just gonna have to trust me on Let's this. Be quiet. For more possum top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. I will enslave all mankind! <laughs> Nothing and no one will stop me from ruling the world! Kitty Galore, out! Oh.